Well folks, besides our favorite stocks, we have to explore different opportunities on the stock market. And in this video guys, I'm gonna share with you 3 stocks that have a huge potential for the short squeeze. Let's not forget that our main job is to explore inefficiencies on the market. So let's dive in. Funny thing guys, we are starting with Cost Corporation. Today I made some money swing trading, I bought Cost yesterday, today I sold Cost. I made a quick buck, very very interesting company, I still keep looking for it during the next trading sessions. So guys, for those that don't know nothing about Cost, let's go over the details. So Cost produces stereo headphones and accessories and the stock has already demonstrated just how much of short squeeze is capable. We saw at certain points during January, stock hits 40, 45 dollars, amazing stock, very good for swing trading. But let's go over specifically the details, how many shares we have on float. So cost has float of just 1.5 million shares and the short percentage of those shares is 38.4%. So basically we have a so much short interest in the company. Let's not forget that the difference between the, the stock price was under 4 dollars before uh, the Wall Street bets take over the company to all the way to 127 dollars guys. This is ridiculous. This is reminding me uh, for Ehang, this Chinese uh, drone taxi manufacturer, which stock uh, went all the way up to 120 something dollars, then declined to 40. I did have uh, some profits made on this stock, again, swinging it for a couple of days. Okay, friends, the next company on the list is Kubient Inc. So Kubient Inc, we saw the first short squeeze during the last month. So the company is specialized in video advertising. Uh, the company is so-called under the radar. Not so many people talking about the company. I definitely believe that maybe 50 or more percent of the people who are watching this video never heard of this company. So the ticker symbol for the company is KBNT. So guys, during the last short squeeze, the stock was traded under $6. After uh, we saw the first spike, the stock went all the way up to 1626. Currently the stock is down, but there is a rumors that soon we're gonna see a second wave of short squeeze. The shares afloat of the company are 4.9 million shares and the short interest is 24%. Again, this is very, very high number. Well guys, let's go over the third company that you should definitely check out. The company that we're going to talk about is iSun. So iSun uh, completed a merger uh, in January and as we all know uh, the news about the merger the post merger and when the merger actually completes give always different price ranges so when the merger was announced the stock price was trading around six hours uh, right after the announcement we saw the the stock price climbed all the way to 32 dollars and 24 cents again this company is in the solar industry we all know huge potential especially under Biden administration but guys, let's not forget that this video is about the short interest. The current stock price of this company is $13 per share. Definitely not as high as $30 as we talk about. So we have a bunch of room for growth. Let's go over the short interest. The company has 2.5 million shares float and we have 20% short interest. Again, this is very, very high number that we should keep in mind. So guys, two disclaimers. First, uh, from all of these companies, I've been trading only the first one, KOSS, and I've been profitable with it. This is not a financial advice. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope this video made you some money. If not, made you at least some good mood. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video and have a peaceful weekend.